Hi, I'm Sam from Kibble Equipment. Now I'm gonna show you some updates to the 2680H high-speed disc, specifically on the depth control system. So this unit does have single point depth control that you can adjust the rear blades and the front blades independently. So it kind of ends up being single location, dual adjustment depth control, but that doesn't really roll off the tongue like single point. Uh, in addition to the single point depth control, uh, this unit will have true set on it as well now from the factory. So that true set allows us to adjust that front and rear disc depth independently from the cab on the go, which is much better than adjusting individual cylinder stops on previous models. All right, so any new 2680H that comes from the factory will be equipped with true set depth control as standard equipment. It will also have the two single point rods uh, as you see here. So if you're running in true set mode, then you would run with these single point rods backed all the way out, just like you would on any other John Deere tillage tool that's equipped with true set. They are here as a backup or a redundancy in case you either have an issue with true set or you have a tractor that is not compatible with true set. So just as a general theory of operation as far as how the depth control works on a 2680H, when you lift or lower the front discs, you're actually lifting and lowering the front wheels. When you lift and lower the back discs, you are lifting and lowering the basket. So the basket or the rubber roller is always touching the ground when you're in operating mode. But that's how you independently lift the front and the rear discs. Now when you're setting depths on the front and the rear, whether it's with the single point or with true set in the cab, it's generally recommended to run the front and the rear discs at the same depth. That's how you're, that's gonna get the best performance 90 plus percent of the time. There are instances where maybe running the front deeper or the rear deeper may help in tough conditions. Um, potentially dog tracking where the ground is hard in front and maybe it's pulling the disc to the side or really soft ground can have a similar effect or maybe we're running in, in heavy trash conditions. Some of those, we, we may be able to play with the depths front and rear to make the system run a little bit better, uh, but otherwise, Recommend running with your depths the same front and rear. All right, so I'm gonna take you through the true set depth control interface that you'll interact with in the cab. And before I do that, I do wanna point out one sneaky nice feature about true set on 2680H is that it does auto float your wing fold and your mainframe tilt cylinder. So if you've run a 2680H before, you should know that one and two are depth control, three and four are what are used to fold up the tool. But when it's in operation to properly contour and to not damage the hydraulic system, three and four need to be run in float. Sometimes that gets forgotten about. Then you cause some damage to components on the tool. So with true set, it will auto float three and four when true set is engaged. Uh, and you do only need to interact with SCV one when you're raising and lowering the tool in the field. Now, as far as the interface goes, you can adjust, like I said, the front and the rear discs independently. Uh, you can also have presets set. So that's a one touch adjustment for the front and the rear, which is just so much of a differentiator for the John Deere tool over anything that the, the competition has right now. And really gives the 2680H a leg up on any of the competition that's out there.